I am your host, Doc Rotten, and this is Horror News Radio, the official gruesome magazine podcast. Back with me again this week are the scariest, goriest, bloodiest co host on the net, and that means Christopher G. Moore, award winning filmmaker. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing good. I'm sorry I didn't play any 90s music to make this appropriate for this podcast. I know. And, and we probably get tagged in the, in the YouTube. Video. <laughs> we will. All right. Well, we are here to review uh, Resident Evil. Welcome to Raccoon City. And unfortunately, uh, a couple of our co-hosts couldn't make it. And um, even <laughs> and most people couldn't make it to the theater to see this. This did not do well. Um, and <laughs> but we are going to review it. And uh, we'll, 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 we'll dive into it. We're going to talk about this movie. Uh, well, first, what we're going to do is give our first impression. That first impression will be, Christopher, it will be spoiler free. And then we'll dive into the discussion and get into the spoilers, what they are. And then we'll wrap things up. Sir, with our final thoughts, our score, one to five, and our favorite scene. How do you like that? Sounds like a plan. It does. All right. Uh, for you listening, uh, we, we are grateful that you're here joining us, and we hope you enjoy not only this review, but many others that we have on the site and more that we have to come. So keep your ears and eyes peeled. Uh, if you want to, and we hope you do, it's uh, to support us, it's easy and free to do. You hit the subscribe button down below, you hit the like button, you share with a friend, and that will do wonders. And of course, leaving a comment is something we'd like for you to do. What did you think of this film? Especially after you hear our review of it, uh, tell us what we got right, and tell us what we got wrong. Sure. Absolutely. All right, what film, sir, are we talking about? We are talking about Resident Evil, welcome to Raccoon City uh, from Sony. Hit theaters on November 24th, 2021. This is Sony trying to revitalize, revamp, and reignite the Resident Evil film franchise based on the game, of course. Uh, the synopsis is set in 1998. This origin story explores the secrets of the mysterious Spencer Mansion and the ill-fated Raccoon City, written and directed by Johannes Roberts. And the cast includes uh, Kaya Skyla, Skydela, oh Lord, Scodelario, <laughs> Scodelario, she plays Claire. Hannah John Kamen uh, plays Jill Valentine. Robbie Amell plays uh, Chris Renfield. A Redfield, not Renfield. That'd be somebody else. A even is it Jogia or Jogia? How would you like pronounce that last name? Why am I having such a hard time tonight? I don't know. Leon S. Kennedy. Neil McDonough plays William uh, Birkin. Uh, Tom Hopper plays Albert Wesker. Donald Logue plays Chief Brian Irons. Uh, Lily Gao um, makes a cameo as Ada Wong. And Maria Mazepa plays Lisa Trevor who is the ghoulish girl who visits uh, not Jill, but uh, Claire in, in the orphanage. All right, sir, let's dive into this. And why don't you go first and let me know your first impression of Resident Evil. Welcome to Raccoon City. Uh, I'm, I want to leave the city. <laughs> no! Nah! Uh, not so welcoming to me. I, I, I'm a fan of video games. Uh, I'm a fan of the director who did like uh, like 47 meters down and um, you know strangers pray at night. He's yes, yes. done some good stuff and uh, this is very disappointing. I mean, I think when the the, the first trailer came out, <laughs> I think you remember yes. me saying, "Oh, this looks horrible," and um, this. Uh, exceeded my expectations on how horrible it is. Oh my god! Uh, it's it, it. The thing is, it's, it's one of those films that it's so steeped in the 90, 90s ness of it, to where you're just like, I mean, there's just songs that are in there for no reason, just because it's a '90s song. Uh, there, there's '90s technology they kind of thrust in your face. It's like, oh, I'm playing the little snake game on my <laughs> mobile cell phone that, <laughs> you know, that that only has, you know, uh, grayish black colors on it. You know, there's and and um, it's one of those movies to where, like, yeah, it has a lot of nods to the video games. But 
it also just goes out of its way to point out, oh, this is from the video game. You know, hey, I'm I'm this character. Let me repeat my name again. So, you know, I'm this character from the video game. <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah. Um, and 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 there's just moments where it's just like, uh, there there's I mean, the, I think the I think the worst that is actually was it's probably a little bit spoilerish to one of the characters you just mentioned at the, the read through, but it happens in the mid credits scene. And the way she says her name, it's like it's weird, right? What am I? What are you, James Bond? <laughs> I don't. That that might work for James Bond. It doesn't work for this. It's almost like I feel like there should have been dun dun dun. You know, it's and and the, you know, and the, this is this even does fan service badly. <laughs> you know, and you know, I, and I'm usually and you, or Doc, you probably like that with me. We, we don't mind the fan service elements of certain movies or, or certain like properties. It, yeah. I like it. And I, I'm a huge fan of the video games, you know, and, and it has those moments for the video games. There's the there's the the zombie who turns his head towards the camera, you know, which is the famous scene from the video games. There's the monster with the big long tongue. There's the guy with the big arm with the eyeball. I mean, there's all these monstrous creatures. There's all these specific characters. Some of those in the video game universe aren't really as connected as they make themselves out to be. But um. But I didn't believe any of these characters, you know, and, there, and there's some of the dialogue is so stilted there uh, he, to where it even makes Donald Logue bad, you know, and he's normally good in everything. But th there's like one part where he's like he makes he's like, oh, what are you going to go down to the planet of Hollywood and you're going to listen to Cher and you <laughs> he makes all these like references. It. it it, it takes me nowhere. And I, 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 I didn't feel like there was any chemistry by between any of the characters. Um, and, and it feels like a, it feels like a nineties parody that has no humor in it. Uh, although there's one moment where there's like a burning person and they play crush. They play that song. <laughs> and I was like, is this supposed to be comedic? Cause it's not funny. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I mean, I will say there's maybe there's like one moment that I thought was kind of cool or maybe a few moments just involving like horror moments. But overall, it's just. Yeah, it's 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 it, it it's like a bad 90s film. That that's even better than movie. The movies made in the 90s. It's it, it has and it even has some of the some of the special effects and maybe it's because this movie was made like for $40 million, but some of the special effects is it, it, they're working so hard. And then other parts, it it's bad. It's like, there's like falling debris things that look like nineties, you know, special V CGI. There's, there's a part where like a something explodes in the house and, all these particles are falling behind them, but not as much in front of them. I mean, there's like so many things that just like look bad. And, and then even the characters are not, they don't feel like they're, I don't know. They're just, I don't know. It, this movie like annoyed me. Mm, annoyed you. It annoyed oh, me. It, it, and um, I won't say anymore because I'll probably spoil it, but I, I, this movie was, was not good. I, I'm, and, and I like, I, I sometimes like bad '90s films or bad '80s films, but this is like so bad. I I, I got annoyed by the characters to where it felt like they were doing certain things so they could fulfill elements of the video game, as opposed to for, for why it would make sense for them to do it. You know what I mean? Yes, absolutely. And and, and that just infuriated me because it really it should not be like we need to go to point A point B or point C because we have to make this reference. It should make sense for what the characters are doing. And then other characters are like this character should die because I'm so annoyed by this character. Um, yeah. I just, there's so many interactions of things are just bad dialogue sequences. And, and, and even some of these actors I think are good actors are not, they're just, they come off very pl plasticky in their delivery. I don't know. There's just so many things wrong with this. That's it's, it's, it's kind of sad to see something put all this effort into something that's really ends up making 90s films seem like Shakespeare. No. <laughs> yeah. I, I will add that this movie is garbage. 
Um, I I will say that I was often entertained. I wasn't entirely entertained, but I was often entertained. When I wasn't being entertained, I was being bored because it was it was boring in pits. Um, and I, I I didn't necessarily like the characters that I know I was supposed to like. You know, it's supposed to be ooh and ah that they're there. Um, you know, four or five of them, but it just it it felt really weird. They're introduced in very strange ways that don't necessarily work. And I'm <laughs> I really didn't like the Leon Kennedy character. That character entirely annoyed me. But like you said, the cast is strong. We liked Kate, Kaya rather, in um, Crawl, right? She was excellent in Crawl. Mm -hmm. And she probably is the one that's giving her most in this. But, you know, we like Tom Hopper, right, from uh, Umbrella Academy. And he's he's fine in this, but he's only fine, right? He doesn't really get a chance to really shine. Um, Robbie Amell, you know, people like him from, you know, the TV shows and stuff, but his his character is is the one that's introduced in the strangest way, right? I mean, not not the when they're kids, but as an adult, you know, with the house and all the weirdness, and you know, you and they, it's just there's there's these weird contradictions in the story about you know what's happening in this town and and you know like the the, the mansion's supposed to be completely you know, uh, evacuated or, you know, abandoned, but yet they go there and there's people. I, there was just like, I didn't understand, you know, what the story was. We get everybody together so we can separate them apart. And it, it yeah, annoyed, annoying, annoying is good. You're good way to describe this. I was, I was really annoyed with this and I, I felt it during the movie that it's, it's not like when you're at the end and you go and you get pissed off. Right. It was like during the movie, I'm like, you know, I probably would leave. <laughs> you know, um, it's not really a good movie, and um, and I think that really shows in this. I I, I will say that um, I didn't mind the the special effects being kind of all over the place. I mean, sometimes they were really good. There's a couple practical special effects that are really nice. There's this one corpse that is like her entire innards are excavated out and you know talking stuff but it has no context i have no idea why that course was there um or why or even more so why the characters that are there with the corpse are you how it, were there and he well, even got there so well it almost seemed like to be a willy-nilly um i i mean maybe it's maybe it's from one of the games that I, I don't remember, but it, it feels more like a reference to return of the living dead or something, you know, it, 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 it kind of did. Yeah. And, and, and I think, I mean, that kind of moment I think was more creepy than anything else, you know, I mean, but then the other scenes, it was like, there was a varying level of CGI effects at one moment. It's okay. This is kind of cool. Next moment. This is, looks really bad. I mean, e even some of the, the practical effects, there's a part where a bunch of these zombies are up against the, the fence and, and you could see that this person was wearing like a like a silicon mask and you could see it moving yes, <laughs> around yes. the eyes and i'm like it i shouldn't be able to see that you know what i mean and maybe it's just the limitations of the budget but but here's the thing um when they made the resident evil the previous iterations they were made to be more like action adventure to some degree mm -hmm. more action oriented and uh they kind of to me they kind of lost the horror aspect of it i mean i think with any new iteration i i really want to see the horror and i think i think the one thing they miss is like those games it 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 the, the atmosphere belt built you know and you you create these scenarios you walk into and you're not just like hammered by a bunch of zombies right off the bat you're just these little things happen this scare happens here that's how the games were and i think that's the one thing they keep missing to me they just go full-fledged into some of these scenarios and it doesn't work and then like just some of the dialogue sequences just i mean god talk about expositions this this should be called welcome to exposition city because there's like there's like a scene where the the truck driver like oh, all that raccoon city don't want to go there blah 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 you know it's like shut up i mean i just 
there's like so many moments and I, you know sure video games have pieces of exposition but they're just handled so badly and and even you know they have the flashbacks and even the little the little girl uh, some of that stuff i mean i think there's the creepy creepy flesh mask girl which yes, I yes. was kind of cool i was kind of <laughs> um but um you know and i and i like i think one of the one of the things that kind of worked there's a scene where where she she goes into the house or whatever and she's she she saw like this woman and a little boy across the way which you know just which just looks like a woman with alopecia it doesn't look like some oh, yeah. cr crazy person but um but there's a part where the boy breaks into the front door and then you see the woman like uh go through the back door and just breaks to that and that that was that was actually kind of a scary moment i was like if there had been more moments like that i would have loved it but i think i think they just they sucked all of the they they basically sucked all the scares out of it you know and 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 they they added all these dopey characters you don't care about and and even the girl from crawl i thought there's moments i was kind of embarrassed for her i don't know oh, if it's really? just because okay. of uh yeah because there's a part where like in I'm sorry if if you're, <laughs> if you're if you get all this crazy shit going on. The last thing I'm gonna do is let's sit down and watch this little uh, 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 projector. <laughs> let's, oh, I, well, let's let's that's take these that's slow yeah. moments and 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 watch this projector while the shit's going down all around us. Um, but uh, just her reaction, I, I didn't believe it. Well, I you know I, mean? I didn't feel the urgency of the story, even though there's sirens and you know things. I I. I didn't really grasp, um, you know, because the, they all have to escape, but it's 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 not told in a way that you you feel that they need to escape, right? Because you got the one character, this um, William Birkin character, his family, and they're trying to you know drive and get out, and it's all crazy, and they get you know stuck underneath the bridge thing with you know other people trying to get out, and and they run into the umbrella umbrella people shooting at them, but. Um, well, that was, that was, no, I'm, I'm confusing the two characters. That was Donald Logue's character that did that. But yeah, the other one, I think they, it, it just, it just felt so, and even that, but I mean, those two, it just felt, I don't, I don't understand. Right. I don't know the, I don't understand the context of how big or small Raccoon City is because it, it kind of conflicts itself. Right. It can, it says there isn't anybody there, but there are people there. And it says, you know, it's, well, it's really that one overhead shot. of <sighs> the Kind of. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I really had a hard time just getting into the story itself and uh, caring, giving a shit right about these, these characters. There's, you know, the Donald Logue character as a chief was just not, it was it was comical, right? It, it it it, but not in a comedy a comedy sort of way. It was just I don't know. It, was, it, it didn't it make sense. Goofy. It was yeah. Kind of, and 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 I mean, you know, like for, for instance, you have these scenes where you set up these characters and like like they have this scene in the diner where yeah. they're all sitting in the diner oh, and, 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 and it's like and it's like I I I mean I was like you yeah, I was like I'm really bored with what's happening because these dialogue scenes was just so stupid. You know, and 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 the one girl's like, name's Valentine. <laughs> I'm Jill Valentine. <laughs> it's like oh, yeah. I feel like you're you're naming these so that like, ooh, the nerdy video game guy. Oh, this is so good. Let me clap for it. No, it, you know that's that's just bad screenwriting, is what that is. You mm -hmm. know, and and things like that. Just I don't know. Just little things like that kind of annoyed me because this property has the potential because, because the, the early video games were all about like, you have these locked in camera angles and you didn't know what was going to be outside of that camera angle. So that just made it scarier in itself. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so th that was one of the few games you would play and you'd feel just as scared, just watching it because, Oh crap. I don't know if something's going to jump through the window or, if the if one of those zombie dogs are gonna jump through the window or this is gonna happen or this bird's gonna fly. I mean, there's like so many opportunities. And this kind of like this sucks it into sort of like general horror land without 
without the elements that make it what it should be, if that makes any sense. I, I, I don't know. I just, th this film frustrated me to no end. And, and you have, you know, the villain character and he was trying to ham it up, but I just, by that time I didn't really care. I mean, oh, I, it was, I, it was, it was odd. <laughs> it was odd. By yeah. That yeah. Yeah. It's like, I don't know. It's like, you, you, I it made me think, do you, why do you even have a family? <laughs> Because it doesn't seem like you even care about your family, <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, it's just like, anyway, yeah, and yeah, and Wesker, the whole thing with Wesker. I, I, yeah, I was disappointed. Like I said, it it has enough in it to be entertaining enough, but it's not good. It's I just didn't not good. Even think it was entertaining. I think it was just there. Yeah, well, a lot of it. I mean, but <sighs> I guess I'm saying there at when when it was on track i was into it but there were so many beats in between all that that it just didn't make sense right you know there's like segments like this segment is entertaining but the seg the two segments that are surrounded are not <laughs> you know what i mean it's like woof and it really is uneven and it's the, like you said the dialogue's bad it's not really written that well and the and the actors i, I would say donald Logue, who i typically like like he was really really good and um the the what we do in the shadows tv show third season he was he was he was funny he was on point he's really good that's the donald logo i like he looked like he didn't want to be here well that's what i'm saying it's like you know he was great in gotham he's he's great in a yes, lot, a lot yes, of the roles gotham he, awesome. which he played a cop in that yeah and this one he just feels like it feels like he walked from a sitcom set or something um and yeah, and then there's, I don't know. I, and then there's like, there's just stupid things that happen that like to where even I was just thinking, oh, well, I don't, I don't know if a, if a, if a helicopter explodes in the living room, if you're going to really survive that, or, or you shoot like a bazooka inside of a train car. Oh <laughs> my God. Train car. How, how is anybody going to survive that? I don't know. I just, by the time I was like, I'm just, I'm my, I'm zoned out. I don't, at this point, I'm just like, picking apart this doesn't make sense this doesn't make sense it, it just felt like it felt like everything okay we need to have this scene from this part of the video game when you have this scene from the video game we're just gonna cram it all together it's like it's like taking all the thanksgiving dinner and just cram it all in the same container so we can have all the elements but it doesn't all taste good together you know what i mean mm -hmm. so. there's a reason why sometimes you get a plate with a divider in uh it did <laughs> exactly. it did it, it did shove you know one and two together but i don't know enough about the early games to really uh, to, to know. I, I never was a big player. Well, I played the fourth one and I never played one, two and three, but I played the fourth one for whatever stupid reason. I mean, I, 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 I mean, I did find it, I guess, kind of intriguing how he, he got left that Palm pilot. Yes. And, and the it Palm had pilot. Like, a little, like a map on it. So he was kind of using that in the same way you use a map mm -hmm. on a video game. So I, uh, I, I did find that to be kind of, uh, uh, and then, you know, getting messages and stuff like you get messages when you, you're talking through when they talk, have like text conversations. Mm -hmm. Um, so some of that stuff I found kind of intriguing how they try to translate that to a, a movie version, but I don't know. I, yeah, it's just, it, to me, that wasn't anything kind of unique about this and and i think they really sort of took that property and made something that's that's as undead as the characters in the movie yeah um, okay well let, let's go ahead and wrap this up and give our final thoughts our score one to five and our favorite scene and since you just rambled there for a bit i will start off and i don't mean rambled you just <laughs> um i'll start off this time and uh i <laughs> i i I was I was massively disappointed by this. I what, what's really sad though is that it it actually has more elements from the games, um, at least that was my impression, than you know the 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 Resident Evil movies. But it doesn't it 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 still doesn't succeed, right? <laughs> and I I okay. So the Resident Evil movies uh, with Alice and and that character following that character, I enjoyed the campiness of it right um i liked the first one didn't really like the second or third one but then the more it got campy and really just 
you know, all out there and really, you know, it didn't matter. Logic didn't matter. You know, it, 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 it entertained me. It, you know, it was action oriented and it, it had pacing um, and it was dumb, but I, I really kind of dug it. And I was looking forward to a more faithful and, you know, horror oriented as opposed to action uh, version of it. So I was really excited about this, but it feels more like a, a reason to keep the property alive than it is to actually do something unique with it. And it sets up a sequel and I'm not really terribly interested in seeing it to be honest with you. Um, so I don't know what you, what you do with this franchise now. Um, and I'm, I'm really torn about this. It's really, you know, because I, I, this one in silent Hill, I want those films to work, right? Because those are things that even if you don't play them, you know, them, right. They've been, you know, those characters will become iconic. You know, the names that we're talking about, you know, shoving those four characters together makes sense on paper because those are names that people recognize. Right. And, and of course all the monsters and same with like Silent Hill with, you know, the characters they did, but they just seem to have so much trouble actually executing them. Um, and I think it's because they don't think I, this is my opinion of this one. It doesn't think about the story first, right? It thinks about integrating all these elements. And if it had a story that I was interested in, then that would be awesome. And then the elements need to be you know, on top of it. We, you know, we've talked about it often that, you know, if you have a horror movie and you take the horror elements out and it still has a good story, that's really the basis. And that goes for any genre, right? You know, it, it, all those things have to wrap around a solid story. And there isn't a story here. It's, it's flimsy and weak and, um, and it needed it. It really needed it. Now I appreciated some of the elements that it brought in and some of the things really were fun. There's, there's, there's two or three really good moments that I think are, are very exciting, but, there's long stretches of just stupid. Um, so um, I'm going to give it a two. I was originally going to give it less, but I think I'm going to cave and give it a two. <laughs> uh, and my favorite scene is, I, and there's a couple of them I can choose, um, but I'm going to choose the the scene in the jail cell when you know we have the, the one guy in there, he's locked in with somebody that's changed into a zombie and, I, I the whole sequence there, I was I really liked that. I thought that was a lot of fun, and I like that particular monster that came, you know, the zombie. I, I don't know if they're really zombies, whatever the hell they are. I guess they're zombies. Comes out, and I like the look of it, and the, and it felt urgent. You know, they felt like there was something happening, um, and uh, I really like that. If if not that, if you don't choose my other one, I, I will say that afterwards. But go ahead, it's your turn, sir. What is your final thoughts, your score, and favorite scene? Yeah, but that that character in the prison was like oh he's annoying as fuck like a but bad they... character it wasn't even <laughs> but, I, but I didn't care about that I didn't care about that I just when setting him up to die was fun uh, that to me that character just I was like oh, yeah anyway well, well he represents the character that you know you you start you start your game and he comes on the screen and tells you you know your your mission should you accept it. <laughs> yeah, he just he felt like a, I think I think I had a friend that posted one of my things. He's like, these characters look like people cosplaying characters from the game. <laughs> you know, you're not you're not. It does feel that, fan, it does and, feel like fan film. And does, uh, but I, I also say I have cosplayer friends that could do a better job with this yeah. than the, the actors in this film. Um, this film is a mess. This this should be called Resident Evil. Because, oh no! <laughs> uh, it, it it it's uh, it's uh, funny. Yeah, it's it's it, it it's called Raccoon City for a reason because that's where raccoons are usually in the trash can. Um, this <laughs> this this film is is a mess. Um, and yeah, you know, and I I've heard that the director is like a huge fan of the games and stuff, and that's that's all fine and dandy, but it, it needs to be more than just elements thrown in to appease people who enjoy the games and i think people and i know i have friends that are huge fans of the games hated this so 
I, I don't think it's really appeasing the right fan base, you know? No. And I um, hate that because I'm actually a fan of the director. So that really, well, makes it I, worse. I am too. And I think I, you know, but I guess we all can't make <laughs> great movies all the time. Um, and, and maybe sometimes we, if it, when you're dealing with like a, a property that you love, sometimes you put your blinders on and you don't really see like, I'm so focused on, Oh, we need to put this element from the game, this element maybe, from the game. Maybe. Oh, this, yeah. and then you're like, Oh, it's just a, it's, it's just a, uh, a massive moments that don't really amass to anything, you know, that makes sense story wise. Um, and I, yeah, there's just moments that it feel that feel video gamey, but at least in a video game, you know what to expect of in a movie. You need to put a little bit more effort into it making sense for the characters, and and, and some of the dialogue is just oh, it's it's hard. not good. You know, it's <laughs> like it's like it's not even screenwriting 101. It's just like I mean, just the the moments where they just have to name drops are just like oh i just I, if, if my eyes could roll out of my head then the, <laughs> they would have because i was like oh really especially that 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 stinger <laughs> no the that stinger is the worst ah, stinger is the worst uh, i just felt like oh really um because uh, I almost like I don't even care if there's a stinger, <laughs> <laughs> but I do. I do know an element draft house. They'll keep the lights down until the stinger happens, and then they'll they'll bring it up. Um, yeah, I, I, I am not a fan of this film at all. It 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 perturbed me. It annoyed me. Uh, it it, it, it made me question <laughs> things. Um. It, 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 if, if anything, it made me want to go play the video game so at least I can get the feeling of of something that was entertaining. Because um, this film did not did not entertain me. It might have entertained you in parts, but this this I, parts. someone post yeah someone posted on my Facebook they really loved it and they thought it was fun. It was just a fun movie, and I, I, this is not was not fun. The, it, it puts the fun in dysfunctional if if fun is a Ooh, part of something. Oh, nice. Um, Ding. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I don't. What well, do you got to give it a score? Oh my God, I'm, I'm on the edge of my seat. How low can I'll you go? give it a 1.5. <laughs> oh, very, very diplomatic of you. I'll be nice and give it a 1.5. Because there were moments that I was, I was like, if it's more like this, I would enjoy it. And I, 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 this film is just a disappointment because this property has so many opportunities to tell a fun, scary story that's atmospheric and nobody seems to really get it right. And that's kind of sad because a lot of these games, even some of the newer versions of the Resident Evil games are better than a lot of scary horror movies that we watch every week. They have a better True. grasp at storytelling. And it's funny how you can storytell in these games, but then when you translate it to movies, they don't seem to get it right. And I don't understand that. I, I mean, I've, you know, I've even been disappointed in some of the Silent Hill stuff that uh, story-wise never really works out the way it should. So um, as for favorite scene, <clears throat> um, I, 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 I really like the scene where the, the lady runs through the door because it was a good it's, shot it was because really, it's uh, like it's all framed because mm -hmm. first of all you're like oh crap what is that little kid gonna do <laughs> the little, little redheaded kid what's he gonna do because she's like you know she's lifting i was like what are you doing <laughs> you had some creepy kid that just broke in the front of your house and you're gonna look under there and then it's like don't do that but then you see you see that back glass door mm -hmm. and you see her boom 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 and it's like, oh crap, you know. And if there had been more moments like that, this film would have been so great, you know. And I think there's a few moments with the the Lisa Trevor, uh, cr creepy mask girl, yeah. um, that I think kind of worked. Um, the character design helped it. That was a good character design. Well, it was the character design, which again, <laughs> I don't really explain. 
anything mm-hmm. <laughs> about yep, that. Nothing at all. It's just there. Like the tongue brain monster, it's just there. Um, well, I, I guess maybe <laughs> they have that book that just happens to be there that <laughs> explains everything. Yeah. Well, that's part of the, that's kind of a part of the whole show, though. <laughs> I, I, I guess so. I don't know. It just. I I was going to say I like I like the fire gag. I thought that was a pretty. I hated that. Oh really? Because oh. I, I it it felt so out of. It felt, it, tone wise, it just felt weird. Did it? Yeah, because it's like it 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 felt like oh we're gonna play the we're gonna play this this poppy uh, the, a little crush you know and then <laughs> it's walking. I was like, there's nothing that's funny in this whole film, <laughs> and there's this one movie that feels like it's trying to be funny, but it's not funny. And well, there's I, a couple I of them. It. There's a couple of them. Oh well, yeah, yeah. I mean. It's, yeah. So yeah. I yeah, I didn't like that. <laughs> All right. Well, Christopher, thank you for spending the time talking about this movie. I'm sure you're ready to forget all about it and move on to our next film. Uh for or just the, go for play the, the video game. There I, you I, go. I, I'm gonna play the original. I think I have like the the upgraded original one, like on the PS4 that I'm there gonna go, go play and like I want to be in this world. Not- Wash this whole movie away. Wash it all the way. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you for joining me, sir. No problem. Let's say good night. Good night.